Penelope taught me a lot. Mainly to appreciate the small things in life. You, you never know what's around the corner. Her first smile at a year was amazing. And then from there grew to a giggle. And I can still hear that giggle now. I love that giggle. Finding comfort in suffering might seem like an impossible responsibility. Christine and Adrian McKeague assumed this role as soon as their daughter Penelope was born. She had a very, very traumatic birth. We were told that she had irreparable brain damage after about six weeks and um, she was diagnosed with severe cerebral palsy. Her brain irritability meant that every sense in her body was over sensitive. So noise, touch, smells, everything was too much for her, which meant that her brain just couldn't cope with it all and leaves you as a, as a parent feeling absolutely helpless. With Penelope still in the hospital, the family learned of the alternative that Roger's house provided. Our first night stay here was the night after Penelope was discharged. The love that we felt from those nurses and the doctors right away was, was very special and made us realize that this was really going to be a, a huge support for us. Roger's house was a place of solace, giving the whole family time and space to cope. It was a second home, safe and comfortable, and eventually it was where they chose to be for Penelope's last night. They've known us for close to six years, and so to be here, we knew that we were surrounded by love. We were surrounded by people who knew us. Chris and I were in, in bed with Penelope and she, uh, she passed away that night quite, quite peacefully. It was, uh, it, was a, it, it was very sad, but it was, a, it was a beautiful moment. We were allowed to lie with Penelope for however long we needed uh, to hold her. Um, and so it made that memory as sad as it is of losing your child, it made that memory a beautiful, long-lasting memory. Penelope McKeague passed away on February 21st, 2014. Her family wants to share their story. It's very important for, for people to realize that there is this fantastic place here that is putting the needs of the family first, it's putting the needs of the children that are suffering first. It's a tragic event when um, your child is not a typical child or something happens to your child, but this place turns that tragedy into quality of life and beautiful moments.